Uh, joining us right now to discuss the crypto market, the state of regulation, importantly, uh, is Circle CEO Jeremy Allaire. Good morning to you. Good morning. Okay, so where are we in the, we had, we had crypto winter, now, we're, now it's winter time and it may be like crypto summer. Yeah. I, I'm, I think we're all trying to just understand what's actually happening, how much yeah. of this is being driven by the Fed, how much is it ETF possibilities for, for Bitcoin and the like, or just something, something else completely. And I know your business, we should say, which is a stable coin, yeah. is very, very different in some ways than all these other things, but it's all interrelated. It is all interrelated, and, and, and getting the seasons right is obviously one of the biggest challenges that we have. Uh, but in all seriousness, um, you know, I think, uh, as I've talked about you know, here on the show as well, even in the, you know, the depths of challenges last year, as you had you know, high-profile exchange collapses, right. regulatory enforcement actions, a lot of people freaking out. Um, importantly, a lot of stuff was being built. Right? So you had major financial institutions building away at trying to create institutional investment platforms mm -hmm. like BlackRock and Fidelity and others. You had uh, very significant investments continuing in the actual infrastructure side of this. So it's sort of like after the dot-com bust, you had you know, 2002, no one wanted to invest in internet companies or e-commerce, but broadband was getting lit up, mm -hmm. mobile devices were getting lit up, all the infrastructure was getting there so that actually the technology became highly usable and useful. And so I think a number of things are happening right now. We're seeing rapid technology maturation. You're seeing that with this huge rally in Solana, which if, mm -hmm. if you're not familiar is, is sort of uh, makes using blockchains fast and, and relatively easy. Uh, you have this institutionalization and the clarity that comes from that. And I think all of those things are combining. You said the clarity piece. I think there's less, the, the clarity piece doesn't seem so clear still. Where are we on the regulatory clarity piece? We have so many people come on and say, just spend time in Washington. It feels like the SEC is shifting. You know, we're, yeah. we've reached escape velocity. They're gonna have to deal with us now. Where, what is your real take? So a couple things. The, the first is global versus US. In every major financial market center around the world, they're actually putting in place clear regulations on digital assets and stable coins. So, Hong Kong, Singapore, Japan, uh, the UK, the EU, UAE, like you, you go to these places and they actually are doing it. And so the US is behind, I think that's one. Um, in the US, you've got you know, really three big bodies of policy issues. You have markets and how to regulate markets and there you've got a territorial turf war going on uh, and some kind of political posturing. And then you've got stable coins. Everyone seems to agree about stable coins. It's just a matter of when, not if. Um, and then you have this sort of illicit finance uh, stuff, which has be become obviously- That's what Elizabeth Warren Elizabeth did. Warren, a very bipartisan kind of issue there. And, um, and those are the three big policy uh, kind of components. Now, with respect to markets, which is I think that the thing that attracts the most attention, um, yeah, there, there is a fundamental disagreement between one particular agency and some of the other agencies, and Congress. The and SEC the, and the CFTC, and I ask because yes, we've got Russ Benham yes. coming on. The, C, the, the SEC, the CFTC, uh, and then obviously Congress and the courts. And the right. beauty of the U.S. system is we have all three branches, and they're all kind of trying to figure out how to work that out. And so when you see... Well, the beauty. <laughs> the, the beauty. That's one way of putting it. To the extent that we should be looking at Bitcoin as a barometer of risk on, risk off, if you think of it as a speculative asset, I don't know what you think of it as anymore, yeah. but we show it on the screen every single day yeah. uh, because there's a lot of ownership of, of it around the world. Yeah. There's a lot of interest in it around the world. Yeah. What do you think it's an indicator of? Sure, so a couple things. So the, the first is digital commodities are here to stay. And that's just, you know, we have, we have this new thing, digital commodities, they're here to stay. And they will be valued differently. Gold is differently valued than oil is differently valued than copper, right? So there will be these digital commodities. Bitcoin specifically is the sort of largest digital commodity asset. Right. And I think in the minds of many of the, of the people who are investing in it, this is a, 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 a risk hedge asset. Mm -hmm. uh, it can be correlated uh, to, you know, availability of money supply, but it also can right. be uncorrelated. So, it doesn't fit every box clearly. And I think you're hearing from sovereigns, from the Ray Dalios of the world, the Larry Finks of the world, others that they believe that in a complex geopolitical environment, a complex macroeconomic environment, this is an asset that 
one should right. uh, have and, some. But we should not think of it as a currency. I, I, I mean, certainly By the way, you're, you're more in the currency camp in terms of what you do. Correct. Yes. So digital dollars that can be a strong store of value medium of exchange that have all the powers of the Internet. That's what dollar stable coins do. Huge innovation. I expect to be explosive in terms of its growth in the coming years. Just a huge utility for dollars on the Internet. Huge appetite for dollars on the Internet. That's a very big thing. And that's distinct from people who want a, a, a currency hedge, so to speak, or a, a, a store of value hedge against uh, right. the world going to